for me, that's that's the battle that goes on whenever you're trying to change yourself in any area of your life. You you have your true self wanting to breathe, wanting to grow, and saying, I love it when you push me. Yes, it's hard. Yes, it's a little painful. Yes, it's inconvenient and uncomfortable. But this is what life is about. It's about being pushed right now. I'm Chris Rodak. This is going to be a solo episode, and I'm just going to talk to you about something that I was going through when I was waking up this morning and at the gym that affects every guy. Because every guy wants to work out. Every guy wants to be healthy. Every guy wants to look great and be strong and show up for his family and kids like a superhero. And I wake up at 3.45 every day. The alarm went off. And there is the initial time from when the alarm goes off to the point where you're getting out of your bed. That is torturous. Okay, it's hell. You don't want to do it. No one wants to do it. There's no really morning person out there. You're a morning person once you're up moving around having a good time. Like when I'm in the sauna, after it's been two and a half hours, and it's, you know, three, and I'm uh, like 6 a.m., yeah, I'm a morning person. But at 2.45 a.m., or sorry, 3.45 a.m. when the alarm goes off, I'm not a morning person. And for those 10, 20 seconds when I'm, laying in bed, the alarm went off, and I'm trying to get out. It's an internal battle that I have to win. That's the time when I'm proving to myself who I am. That's the time when I'm proving to myself whether I'm going to be able to stick to a schedule that day or not, whether I'm going to be able to say no to candy and chocolate and junk food throughout the day, whether I'm going to be able to stick to my diet and macros, whether I'm going to go to the gym when my wife maybe says something that makes me angry, whether I'm going to snap at her or or my kids, if they're saying, dad, 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 and I'm stressed out from the day, whether I'm going to snap at them. Me getting out of bed at that time is going to determine whether those things happen. Because that's my first test of the day. It's the first sign of struggle. It's I'm comfortable. Something I don't like happening is happening. How am I going to react to it? Am I going to retreat to comfort? Am I going to retreat to my pillow? Am I going to lay back down in bed? Or am I going to win? Am I going to win this moment, the hardest moment? That's one of the hardest moments of the day is it's so easy to lay here and do nothing. I have, you know, it's like 99% versus 1%. Am I going to do the 1% thing? And, And that is get out of this amazing comfort. And especially, you know, my wife's laying next to me. A lot of times my um, seven-year-old daughter will come in, and she's just so damn cute, and she'll cuddle up next to me. And it's like, do I lay there in that warmth, and she'll cuddle up next to me, and do I just lay there with her for another three, four hours, which I could. I could stay in bed for another three hours and still have a fine day. Or do I get up? go into the cold, go downstairs, start working out, I'm sorry, drive to the gym, work out, come back, and then do the rest of my routine. That inner battle is tough, and you have to win it. So this morning, it hit me really hard, but really quickly. I defeated it quickly. I haven't always defeated it. It's it's taken practice. When I started waking up, much earlier and doing this whole routine, um, the first, you know, for, for, for a while it was difficult. I was defeated a few times and I had to keep on battling back. But for the first 10 seconds today, it was really, really rough. I had all these onslaughts of negative thoughts and thinking, why are you doing this? This is so dumb. You could be recharged. Maybe you'd be healthier. Maybe you'd be stronger if you just went back to sleep. And it took me about 10 seconds to get out of bed. As soon as I was on my feet, I felt fine. You know, thoughts were literally in my head. I was saying, I hate this as I was getting up. I was laying in my bed so comfortable. I ripped the covers off, swung my legs around, and said to myself, I hate this. But I got up anyway. I still got up, got changed. I have all my clothes set out on my dresser ahead of time. My socks and my shoes, everything. All my gym clothes are ready to go. Put that on, went downstairs, my pre-workout. Everything I take before the gym is in a shaker bottle ready to go. I just fill it up with water, uh, drink some water, take my pre-workout, 
and then I head to the gym. I'm at the gym in about 15 minutes. So about 4.05, 4.10, I'm at the gym. And if you're on my Instagram, you can see my stories every single morning. I post a picture of me at the gym at between 4 and 4.10 a.m. usually. So chest day today, I'm at the gym working out, having a, it's, having a, a good go of it. It's a really rough routine I'm doing. I'm doing, you know, incline dumbbell presses and then immediately doing push-ups to failure, waiting a, waiting a minute, then doing that again. And about 50 minutes into this chest workout, I was, you know, on death's door. I just could barely lift anything else, just really trying to t push myself to failure to the point where I'm leaving nothing on the table. When I'm thinking, all right, eight hours later in the day, I want to look back at this workout from this morning and think, man, I busted my ass. There's nothing else I could have gave. You know, I remember I was on the bench, and, you know, for my routine, bench presses later on into the workout, and I just could barely get it up. And I remember thinking, I love this. I love this. And it wasn't like a superficial, I love this, like I love candy. It was like a deep in my soul, I love this. In the midst of all the pain and struggle and pushing up the weight, I thought to myself, I love this. And then I was thinking, how did I go from I hate this trying to leave my bed to I love this under a bench press bar an hour later covered in sweat, barely being able to lift the bar off my chest? How did those two, two things happen? And I think it's because it's the opinion of two different people. There's two different people. We have two, two different people in our bodies and minds and souls at all time. We have our true self, the person who could be, the person who we want to be, the person who we aspire to be, the one who will inspire our families. That's what I call our true self, the person we want to be. And then we have a different person. We have the person who is an echo. So let's call it an echo of our past behaviors that we want to change. So for all the years we slept in, we overate, we didn't work out, and we led sloppy lives in whatever. It could be any, it doesn't have to be physical, it could be in business, family. So whatever our pattern of bad habits are, that echo is that voice in our head that keeps on coming back and keeps on trying to tear us down. So those are the two people I've got in my head. I've got the true self, the person who's saying, I love this when you push yourself and, and you build me. You build the person inside. And then you have the, the echo of the resistance of your bad patterns, those things that you did for so long that they're still ingrained in your subconscious. They're there. For me, that's that's the battle that goes on. Whenever you're trying to change yourself in any area of your life, you you have your true self wanting to breathe, wanting to grow, and saying, I love it when you push me. Yes, it's hard. Yes, it's a little painful. Yes, it's inconvenient and uncomfortable. But this is what life is about. It's about being pushed right now. And then you have that echo of the past that says, no, go back to bed. Go back to sleep. Do what we've always done. It feels good. It feels so good. And you always think it's going to feel good. You always think, man, this would be, this would be better. Like we were at a, a party a couple of weeks ago, and there was so much food. You know, it, I, All the food I could want was there. I could have just completely ruined my week with eating. And that voice came. It's like, man, why are you, why are you trying to hit your macros today? It's so stupid. Look at everyone else. They're having so much fun. Don't you want to have fun? Don't you like fun? What's the big deal if you, if you indulge? And had I done that, it would have immediately taken me back to my old habits, old patterns. And immediately I would have felt a sense of regret and shame. And I would have immediately thought it's not worth it. Because isn't, th isn't that the thought that fills our heads all the time after we eat, you know, McDonald's or something that we know tasted amazing in the moment. But then as soon as we were done, we said, yeah, that wasn't worth it. We all go through that. We all think that um, a lot of times it's after drinking. It's like, man, I just should have had one drink or I shouldn't have drank at all. Or, yeah, drinking used to be fun, but now I'm getting nothing from it. I shouldn't have drank at all. Now my entire weekend's ruined because on Friday I overdid it. Or you're perfectly fine at dinner and then you order this like massive dessert like the Cheesecake Factory. You have an entire piece of cheesecake to yourself 
And then on your drive home, you said, oh, that wasn't worth it. And you just, not only do you physically not feel good, but you spiritually, mentally don't feel good. It affects your soul. And that uh, echo of our past self likes to try to convince us in the moment that we're going to be happier, that it's going to be worth it if we just give in. If we just give in, just lay back down in bed. Just go back under the covers because it feels so good. It feels so good. Don't you want to feel good? And then if you do that, immediate regret. You Say you go back to sleep whenever you wake up. You try to pump yourself up, but you know you gave in. And that just affects your soul. It kills the power in your voice that day. So that's the battle that's always happening between going back to our old self or trying to be our true selves and we have to win it because it affects every part of your day it affects the way you talk to your wife it affects the way you talk to your kids it affects your tone on a sales call it affects if a disaster happens during the day at work how you're going to react to that if you come home from work all stressed out and your kids need you or they do something crazy because they're kids and it's okay and we're adult men fathers so we should be able to handle it and then you can just handle it because you can think back at 3.45 a.m. and think, man, I crushed that. I wanted to go to bed. I wanted to go to bed so bad, and I didn't. I just swung my legs out. I got out of the covers, and I crushed my morning routine. And then after that, I crushed the rest of the day. So this little inconvenience, this little uncomfortableness that the day brought up, it's nothing to me because I've proven all day that I'm the kind of man who can do that. And then guess what? Tomorrow's going to come, and you're going to have that battle again. Like, I know right now that tomorrow, waking up, is going to be a battle. But I know now that I can win the battle. Had I gone back to sleep, I would have doubt in my mind right now, and it would be affecting the tone of my voice right now. It would be affecting my confidence right now if I didn't wake up, if I went back to bed at 3.45 a.m. this morning. If I gave in to that comfort, if I gave in to those warm covers, I would be a different person right now. But I proved to myself today that I'm the kind of person who I said I want to be. I know who my true self is, and that's the kind of person I want to be. There were times in my life where I was not in great shape, and I was overweight. Like I talked about after my honeymoon, I was... I was in great shape. I went on my honeymoon. We ended up drinking and eating a lot for the next, like, basically year straight. And I did put on a lot of weight. And I remember looking at myself in the mirror thinking, like, this is not me. This is not who you are. There's a man inside that we can just peel apart that I can see that needs to break out. Like, there's a man in there that's just waiting to be cracked open like a statue. You just hit it with a hammer, all the concrete falls away, and this just man just emerges. Like I could see myself in the mirror as that man needs to come out. And a lot of times that man comes out by forcing yourself to do hard things you don't want to do over and over and over again. So win the daily battle. You can do it. If It all starts with waking up. If you're struggling in the morning, just force yourself to do it. Just try to do it day one. And then guess what? It's going to be hard the next day. Force yourself to do it again. And then eventually, it gets a lot easier. It's not going to ever going to be easy. You're always going to have that battle. But you will know that you can beat it. You'll know that you can win. You guys can win. Thank you, everyone.